Greetings, my name is Peter Lloyd, the Love Messenger, and welcome to my channel, Black Light Records. If this is your first time watching one of my vlogs, welcome to my vlog, Peter Lloyd World. Now, first of all, before I start, let me just say a big, big, big thank you, a huge hug to all of you who have been sending me so much love. I mean, thank you for viewing the vlogs. It means a lot to me. The likes, the comments, the shares, I love the world and I thank you so, so very much. I've got to say big up to some of my favorite YouTubers who have been helping me to get the word out. First and foremost, the TR Show, one of the best live streams in the game. Go check him out. He's amazing. Thank you, TR. And of course, my sister in for life, the one and only SS Rose. And last but certainly not least, Rochelaine. If you want great vlogs, great content with a winning smile and a wonderful personality, go check out Rochelaine. Now, since you are here with I and I, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yeah, but I can't, I can't dance, but who, who cares? Subscribe to the channel, people. Now, I'm excited to share this new vlog with you. So let's get this going. Bless up. The moment the first reported case of COVID-19 hit Jamaica, like every other country on earth, everyone, and I mean everyone, we all panicked. So what did we do? We ran out and we purchased every single cleaning agent that we could possibly buy. And we also, in ex well, I don't understand this, we bought toilet paper. People, why did we buy so much toilet paper? I mean, what, what we, I don't know, the world is ending and we buy toilet paper? Anyway, anyway, let me, let me, anyway. We also went out and we bought all the food we could locate. I mean, everything. We weren't sure if supermarkets would be open, if the markets would be open, if we would have access to food. You see, I practice something we call backyard farming some people just call it gardening so in this vlog i invite you to spend a couple of days with me while we discuss whether or not it is important to have a backyard farm and at the end of the process you will know how i see it so we're walking towards what we call the, the vegetable garden uh, in the backyard farm What you're looking at here is melon. The vine that you see going up there, that's yam. All right, and if we get around here, as you mostly would know this, this is tomato. Um, this is black mint, all right, and of course, all we know pumpkin. I mean, that, that's not rocket science, okay? Scallion, and um, we have some really nice okra over here be careful where I step and if you don't know what it looks like that's the, the banana there you're looking at now I benefited from a very very important accident of nature you see my mom came from Clarendon we call it country the rest of the world we reference it as rural Jamaica my dad came from Alexandra St. Anne rural Jamaica my father's father was a farmer my mother's grandmother and her grandfather were both farmers. So both my parents knew the value of land. They knew the value of growing something. My mom, everywhere we went, everywhere we lived, insisted on planting something. Hello, my name is Lance Guthrie, a practicing horticulturist, one who applies his knowledge to maximize the growth and yield of each plant, both for aesthetics and crop production. First benefit of a backyard garden is you have fresh vegetables ready. I get to control what I put in my body. We all know that processed foods are good for you. I'm not saying you shouldn't eat them, I have them occasionally. But when you plant something, you watch it grow, you are the one that fertilizes. You know if any chemicals have been added to it. You know it's organic. You see it coming straight from the earth. So when it goes to your table, you know exactly what you're consuming. In other words, 
you control what you put in your body. Very, very straightforward. And I think if you are able to do that, then it is easier to control your health. Well, at least to some extent. Jelly coconut, all of we know this. Um, jelly is sweet. The coconuts are small, but they're really, really, really sweet. Um, it took us a while to figure out when to cut these coconuts. Um, because when they look like they're ready, they're already getting dry. So we had to figure out the right time to cut them. Coconuts from the tree. You see them? So Mama Bridget and Sister Chinema have been asking me for jelly. I'm trying to eat as organic as is humanly possible. Trying to avoid those foods that we really should not be eating if you get them here. So everything I eat is either from the tree directly. I found the girl. I don't know if you noticed that, that, that Rastafarians, we Rasta, we reference Aki as Skyfish. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know that one, but Rasta is generally called Aki Skyfish. It keeps you healthy. It keeps you healthy. And according to science, all most of us need is just 30 minutes of movement daily. So planting, picking, walking around your backyard or your garden, digging, all of that keeps you physically active. It keeps you moving. In fact, people may not start climbing tree again. Yeah. Only can't out climb me. Yeah. Yeah. The rats are climb tree again. Apple off of my apple tree. You want to see? I remember they don't think they're ladder. You know, they're not young people. They don't do them something. Here, you know. See the bag. Yeah. See the bag. See the bag. Give it Jenny. Have the bag. <laughs> And you see the clothes that have to keep the, the, the blackbird out of the tree. Yes, that it work, believe me. Yeah, they never know that the rest of man could have climbed tree, not true. <laughs> Apple for days, people. Apple for days. The jelly is another one now. What is this? <laughs> the average person can easily do this as long as there is soil over 12 inches you can just plant any seed and it will grow persons in marley in rocky area or so forth plant something in a container don't let anything stop you now since you're here please remember to subscribe 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 everybody do the subscribe dance subscribe 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 to my channel yeah so, I know my can dance. So subscribe to the channel, people. Subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, share. I think we need to get it to feed ourselves. You get what I say? Um, I have a passion. But I love food. I love fruits in, in particular because I have a sweet tooth. So it was imperative for me and my family that we started to plant and, and learn to feed ourselves because it was sort of really, really important. And you'd be shocked. And it, it's helped in many ways because we've been able to. Um, share the food with our, with our with family, friends, our neighbors. It's, it's a remarkable thing. I don't mean, need to tell no Jamaican or no Caribbean person what this That's East Indian. Um, I call it Uptown Manga and don't laugh at me. <laughs> if you have a backyard farmer, you have any tree in your yard, most of you in the Caribbean know what this is. It's a bamboo stick which is normally used to, um, to pick the fruits with, right? But we've gotten sophisticated. So we are now using, I call it the uptown stick. <laughs> but it's very effective, all right? And I'm not sharing this mango with no, 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 because this, this is the one mango I'm going to buy here with the Eastern. Perfect, people, perfect. I'm not sharing this with anybody. All mine. <laughs> you remember, you saw me pick this East Indian mango from our East Indian mango tree, one of our trees, right? This is what I mean by self sufficiency. I mean, no one has bad mind from the East Indian mango, but I mean.
Watch speed bro. Like sugar. Like sugar. What what you should also know is the size of the garden it doesn't really matter it's not like you're planting on a large scale and on a plantation and if you don't see tractors cultivating the land or a lot you don't need that what you actually need to do is just select a spot in the back of your yard it gets the average four to six hours of sunlight that can grow vegetables you just till that soil in that area. Another great reason for backyard farming, in my humble opinion, is that it teaches you something that we all desperately need. It teaches you patience. When you plant that first seedling, or that, that, that transferred plant, and when you start to water it, it takes a while for it to grow. Most plants take at least six months and some many, many years. So that you have to learn to be patient. And that feeling of patience as you see it grow, it's almost like watching a child grow. So you become excited when you see it start blossoming. You see it getting higher. It teaches you the importance of learning to wait, to be patient. So right about now we want to big up um, Derek C. Williams, who was the first person to comment on the very last vlog, um, the Welcome to the Channel vlog. And uh, I want to say thank you, um, Derek C. Williams. He wrote first on the scene to support Blacklight Records. We love that, my boss. Also this week, we'd like to send a big, big, big up to um, Mary Ann Veg. I think it's V-E-G-H. Um, she said, amazing job. She was the first person to comment on our very, very first vlog, Fatherhood, How I See It. So blessed, blessed love to you, Mary Ann. Thank you so much for the strength and the love. Um, each and every week that we put out a vlog, every time we put out a vlog, the first two persons who comment we'll be giving them a big up what you're looking at we call this old man's beard that's not the name of the plant it's actually um it's actually a weed actually um when well, you're looking at orchids also but what you're seeing against it that looks like a beard it's called an old man's beard just being around nature generally calms you unless you're somewhere in the sahara and there are wild animals trying to eat you <laughs> which, which is yeah you're around nature but it's a little different but generally, what I'm talking about is it's peaceful. I get to hear birds. You sometimes you hear birds in the vlog. Um, I see reptiles. I, I kind of like reptiles, okay? I like frogs and I like, but I don't love frogs, but I love lizards and snakes. And I get to see all these things. And all of that, I think just being in nature, which is innate in human beings, it calms you. You hear that? It calms you. Listen to that. It calms you. Um, and we live in a world where, well, up until COVID, everything was like this. And even with COVID, our brains are like this because we're trying to figure out what next, what to do. And I find gardening, planting, picking, growing, it really calms you. It focuses you. It centers you. We have a uh, green plum. These, of course, are I'm not ready. We have breadfruit. That, that tree over there. We have... Um, several aki trees. It's another mango tree, a um, bambi mango actually. This is what we call the butter aki. This is the this is a soft aki. I really like this. Um, here's another mango tree. Right? That's actually uh, that's the bambi. This is what we call the Jamaican apple. I mean most of we know what this is. Uh, season has passed so there's none on it now but when it when it's ready man trust me another ackee tree this is the the harder ackee so we have three ackee trees and then this is one of my an, other one another one of my favorite fruits um star fruit i love these and right beside this tree we'll have the avocado tree we in the Caribbean, we call it pear tree. In Jamaica, it's called it pear tree. So I believe that backyard farming is really, really important for obvious reasons. I stated to them earlier. Um, you have control of what you eat. It teaches you patience. You get to exercise. Just go through the vlog. So clearly, I think, even if it's a potted plant, no matter how small it is, plant something today. And that is how I see it.
See you soon. After the first vlog, um, fatherhood, how I see it, a lot of people have been asked, were asking me about the banana tree behind me. It's one of my favorite places to be in this, in this in the backyard farm. Um, it's just always cool here, you know, um, and I just really love this banana. This banana plant in particular, I know that's ridiculous, but I actually do. It's one of the reasons why I decided to shoot it here because we wanted to give people a feel of me. Because I'm a very natural person. I'm sitting there wearing a jewelry on them something. And I like being outdoors. I love, in fact, being outdoors. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Yeah. So, I me know my can dance. Just subscribe to the channel, people. Subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get the word out. Thank you for all the people who've been supporting me. Um, you know me love the wall I know. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.